I talked to the president and I said that I'm willing to offer him my resignation. Former leader Robert Fico has been driven out by public anger over his government's response to the murders of 27-year-old journalist Jan Kuziak and his fiancée. The two were found shot dead in their home. He had been part of a team investigating links between mafia corruption and Slovak politicians, including some in Fico's office. In the last few days, protesters took to the streets, jangling their keys, a traditional Slovak gesture asking for someone to leave. Furious Slovaks have flooded the streets to push for accountability, while his colleagues helped finish and publish the story he'd been working on. Peter Barty was his editor at Actualite SK. He joins us from Bratislava. Peter, the murder of a journalist anywhere enrages all of us. But what about these deaths in particular has so enraged the people of Slovakia? Murder of Jan was a shock not only for, for journalists and for my colleagues, it was shock for all citizens in, in Slovakia, especially for for majority of, of our uh, citizens, uh, because uh, we didn't uh, have any we, we, we didn't have any experience with uh, with murder of journalists. It's first time in the history of Slovakia and history in Czechoslovakia as a, as our previous state that we that somebody killed journalist in a, uh, in our state. So it was shock for us because uh, for many uh, Slovaks is uh, is uh, free journalism one of pillar of uh, democracy. So, as you can see, uh, after Jans and uh, his girlfriend uh, murder, uh, it was start of uh, a movement when uh, uh, thousands and thousands of Slovaks go to to uh, streets and they want uh, changes. Jan was a, a data journalist working as part of a team. What are you doing to protect the other members of that team now? Uh, believe me, if I if I had uh, uh, information, if I had a feeling that uh, somebody from my team is uh, in danger, uh, I was doing uh, everything what I what I can, what I'm able to give them pro to give them protection. Now I know that uh, to do to be a journalist in Slovakia isn't so so safe that uh, that we thought that I thought. So now I I prepare or I preparing uh, many things which can, which can help us. Uh, which can help my colleagues, uh, not only from actuality uh, editorial team, uh, which can uh, which can help all journalists in Slovakia to to be safe. Jan's death, the death of his fiance, and and all that's happened in Slovakia since has garnered attention around the world. Do you think that this could be the thing that that helps to root out corruption in Slovakia? I. Two weeks ago, I thought that it's possible, but now I'm not sure, because corruption is deeply in our DNA, in our in our culture, and in our in our lifestyle. So I'm not sure if it's so easy that we can uh, change our our our, yeah, our lifestyle and our culture so fast as uh, as we want. But I hope that uh, we can change our thinking and that we can change our. Uh, our our interests uh, to have a better future for uh, for for our people. Well, on behalf of all of us here, I'm sorry for what you've encountered um, in the loss of Jan and his girlfriend, um, and thank you for talking to us about it. Oh, thank you.